Parousia 22 Objection to Christ's Return at the Hour of Death, Useless to Proclaim the Gospel? English Corrected Translation, Voice Over by Sebastian Bedard, from Illustrate French Video There is a very strong objection to this new theology presented by Benedict XVI, in SPE Salvi 47, namely the coming of Christ in the passage of the dead, accompanied by saints, angels, the Virgin Mary who prays for us, poor sinners now, and at the hour of our death. What is the use of preaching the gospel if it is preached to everyone at that hour? And so, one could say that all the efforts of the missionaries who gave their lives to preach the gospel, in the depths of the world, serve no purpose. It is true that one of the primary driving forces of missionaries was to tell themselves that every man, if he were not baptized, including through no fault of his own, and therefore because of ignorance of Christ, every man would surely go to hell. This was a thought which ran at that time within a theological theory, that, I would say, of scholasticism. We know that this theory can no longer be adhered to. Only blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, that means conscious, voluntary, free, will remain in hell. Suddenly some say to themselves, let all things be done, Christ will draw up his plan and proclaim the gospel to every man. I think this way of looking at this theory is quite cruel. This consists of, in not taking into account the enormous contribution that the gospel of Christ made in someone's life. The cross that we all carry on earth at some point is a cross upon which we are crucified. Misfortune strikes upon us, we lose a child, old age affects us, we are ruined, or something else. Some live through life like this, as the bad thief, they have no goal. They are similar to a ship on the sea in a storm, but on board, there is no compass. Christ himself, he dies upon the cross, this is the same cross, but he indicates to us why this occurs. We are like a boat on the sea, and we know why this happens to us. He is shaping our heart for eternity, he transforms it into all humble heart, he shapes our broken heart, into a kenosis spirit. The cross with Jesus is light in comparison to the cross without Jesus. And the cross of the good thief, which is that of men of good will, who do not know Jesus, this cross is also quite a heavy burden. So if we no longer proclaim the gospel for fear of damnation, we announce it because this is the good news, and because people need it, because Christ does not want this suffering consequence. He does not wish that souls die, as consequence, according to the Book of Wisdom, he does not want people to die in such suffering, not understanding what, nor why, they are doing on earth. Therefore, I recall that, only Christ provides the explanation of this suffering, while the other religions elsewhere in the world, only do what they can. For example Islam says, let us trust in God. However, only Christ explains that one cannot see God without dying to oneself. Therefore, if one is a grain of wheat which dies, one does not remain alone, one bears a lot of fruit in the next world.